Well, so I walked into a Walgreens the other day and uh, saw there was about 19, 20 packs of Phantom Nightmare just sitting on the peg. And I was like, you know, I think I'm going to take all those home. And I couldn't figure out how to get the glare off of the pages on my binder. So the binder uh, collection update will be on the next video. And uh, it's a lot of shiny stuff. So uh, for now, we're just going to get into opening this Phantom Nightmare. Because, yay. Well, as you can see, we have a bunch of Phantom Nightmare to get through today. And let's just get started. Movie magic. Yay. Ah, yes. The Leaning Tower of Ubel. So it's not quite a full booster box worth of blisters, but it's pretty dang close. Uh, a booster box is 24 packs. I think this is 19. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll get something good out of this. We got Goblin Biker Grand Stampede. White Aura Porpoise, Players of the Voiceless Voice, Master of Ham, and Aroma Lilith Magnolia for the first super. Got materialization, Ashen for Eternity, Royal Rhino. Ages of Star and Frost, and Aroma Lilith Rosalina. All right. We got Bungawa the Moon Eating Dragon, Master of Ham, Mature Chronicle, Cop and Biker Boom Mock. Heirs of the After Root. Yeah, I was recording the uh, collection video yesterday and didn't realize I was recording for so long. Apologies for that. I'll try and make these a little bit shorter from here on out. Ashen for Eternity. Convertible. Prayers of the Voiceless Voice. Raid Raptor Glorious Bright. And Magispector Draco Ryu for an Ultra. Yeah, not what we're looking for, but hey, at least it's an Ultra. We got Dark Element, Procession of the T Jar, White Sunfish, Goblin Biker Grand Stampede. And Obsidim, the Ashen City. Fantastic. Definitely some more of the Ashen stuff that I am looking for. Yeah, I'm just going to be right there. They just got some more support in the legendary... Uh, oh, whatever the newest core set is. Legacy of Destruction. There we go. Yeah, they definitely got some more support there. Uh, helping their archetype a little bit more out. But I'm not getting it because I think it's a competitively viable strat. It's pretty. I like it. Beautiful artwork. Barriers of the Voiceless Voice. Same reason why I put together a branded deck. I love the artwork. It just turns out branded has just been kind of a sleeper deck the entire time in the competition or competitive scene. Master of Ham, White Aura Porpoise, Procession of the T Jar, and Awakening of Vados. Nice. I'll take this one for sure. Alright, that's two ultras. The 
Oh, yes. And uh, battle scars from work. White sunfish. Prayers to the voiceless voice. Guy Scrander Golem. Mature Chronicle. And Sunset Beat. Well, isn't that a pretty little sunset? Nice. Dramatic Snake Eye Chase. White Sunfish again. Dark Guardian. Passion for Eternity. And Magispector Wind. For another super. Glorious Bright. Ages of Thorn Frost, Phantasmal Summoning Beast, Dark Guardian, and Goblin Biker Grand Bash. Okay, so we at least got a third Ultra so far. Looking good, looking good. Can we get a secret or a quarter century rare now? Or at least more Ashen cards. But please, quarter century. We got. Vagnawa, not Vingawa. Vagnawa. Master of Ham. Mature Chronicle. Goblin Biker Boom Mock. And Raid Raptor Bloom Vulture. New Raid Raptor support for all you Raid Raptor fans. I was not playing Yu Gi Oh! when Raid Raptor was a thing. But I've seen. Was it 5Ds? No. 5Ds and Arc V? Yeah, I went completely backwards. I wound up starting with Arc V first. Um, but oh well. It was funny as hell. Convertible. Raiders. Glorious Bright. And. Mahomi Lumiere. Be our guest. Alright, more white sunfish, prayers, dice grinder, chronicle, and another bloom vulture. Uh, for some of my uh, older followers, I ran across a Highlander trading card game booster box. Uh, don't know if I'll be opening it, but I'm definitely going to show it on stream as soon as it comes in. Because, uh, you know. There can be only one. Raid Raptor Glorious Bright. Age of Stars and Frost. Phantasmal Summoning Beast. Dark Guardian and... Another Aroma Lilith. Well, pretty. Completely not interested. Yeah, we got like four or five packs left. Moon Eating Dragon. Beautiful art, though. Chronicle. Boom Mock. Hey! And a secret rare Goblin Biker Grand Entrance. Once again, not the secret we're looking for, but man, is that pretty. Look at that. Once again, we take it. Three ultras in a secret. Can we get another secret at QCR? Ashen for Eternity. Convertible. Rares. Glorious Bright. And Raid Raptor Brave Strix. Alright. At least we're getting different supers. Alright, Grand Stampede, XYZ Force, Guardian, Three-Eyed Ghost, and 
Magnolia. Last two packs. Glorious Bright. Stars and Frost. Summoning Beast. Dark Guardian. Hey. All right. Got two Ashen City cards out of this. Beautiful. Sunfish, Prayers, Grace Grander Golem, Mature Chronicle, and Cerevis Dragon Sage of the Voiceless Voice. Well, outside of the Ashen cards, if you're looking for anything that I've pulled and it's over a dollar, it will be in my shop. I'm going to have to put the shop link down there or somewhere over there but yeah take a look in the shop see if i got anything you're looking for remember to like subscribe hit the comment section and tell me what was your favorite card that you saw today i'm happy i got these ashened and at least a secret rare goblin biker grand entrance and the ultras 19 packs, almost uh, a pull ratios of a full box. If we would have gotten one more ultra and one more secret, I think that would be the ratios for a full box. Well, next time I see you guys, oh. you know it would it would also help if I actually hit transition. So. Next time I see you guys, hopefully I will have a situation figured out for the binders, or I'm just gonna rip them all out of the uh, out of these the uh, binders and just uh, show them like I did the singles outside of the binders. And I will see you.